Coming from the depths of the orangutan wheel lineup is the brand new orangutan Kawama. 85 millimeters, baby, with that big old cute car. Boom. The orangutan Kawama is made out of the wonderful Happy Thane formula. Therefore, you're gonna get high roll speed and lots of grip. Look, they stick together. The orangutan Kawama has a 56 millimeter contact patch, but with a 58.5 millimeter overall width. So as you wear it down, it's gonna get a little bit wider, provide a little bit more grab to the ground. We designed this wheel to kick a whole lot of booty when it comes to commuting, carving, pumping, e-boarding, and long distance pushing, especially the purple. I use this wheel on my Icarus when I'm riding around my neighborhood with my dog. Yeah, you know, it, it helps having a really large wheel and a lot of urethane for just cruising around over uh, rough pavement and big cracks. Yeah, I'm riding the ADA because, uh, yeah, just that extra little bit of, of cush helps over rough pavement. I like this wheel. I use it for rolling around town, going to the store, rolling over cracks, getting up curbs, and roll over children. <laughs> The orangutan Kwama is offset, but it's got this big old supportive core with a deep valley. That deep valley gives you tons of cush, even in the harder duro, but with the higher edges, you're gonna apply more pressure to the lips to get tons of grip. That's right, grip. We made sure to keep the skin on the wheel so that way you can make the most of the grip when it's especially brand new, but we did something a little different. We rounded the edges of the Kwama because when we were prototyping, we found that too sharp of lips can actually catch on pavement seams and little weird little things in the pavement. You now, so you start to kind of fishtail on your board. When it came to the electric skateboarding applications, uh, that was a little too sketchy. So when we rounded the edge there, it gave it a nicer, cushier, smoother transition on pavement that's uneven, especially hitting banks. Check out Dusty on his boosted board hitting banks. But even though it's got round lips, that doesn't mean that it's suffering from grip. We made sure that the inner lip protrudes outwards, so that way you still get plenty of squish and tons of grip from that sucker. And to make this wheel truly unique, and you cannot find it anywhere else on the market, we gave it a diamond three-dimensional faceted face. I don't know if you can see that. Now you can see it. Look at that. It's amazing. Considering how big this wheel is and it's got the most urethane out of any orangutan wheel ever to exist, we made sure to have an exposed core to help reduce the weight, so that way it's not too cumbersome. I like how the wheel's nice and big and it's still got the skin on the surface, so uh, when my dog gets pooped out, I can uh, pump the rest of the way back home. And I've got it on Paris Savant trucks, 50 degree. Um, and yeah, I like that setup because it's a uh, you know, flexi cambered board, helps me pump around and carve around the neighborhood. And it's got mm, enough wheel clearance and cutouts to accommodate a big wheel like this. And Nicaras, it's pretty cool. Dirtfish is pretty cool. Vanguard's pretty cool. <laughs> Vanguard's pretty cool. For those looking to upgrade their electric skateboards or maybe apply some new fresh wheels to their boosted board, we recommend the orange orangutan Kwama. Similar to the Kegel, it's gonna feel nice and grippy and very smooth, but you're gonna notice that you have a slightly faster roll speed without having to modify programming. Loopholes. For those looking to do long distance pushing, we recommend the purple Kwama. 83A. Whole buttocks. Buttocks? Whole butt cheeks. <laughs> the orangutan Kwama, purple and Orange. The orangutan Kawama. Available now or soon if it's not available right now. But check your local shop first. If you can't find it there, check out orangutanwheels.com. Juggle, juggle. <laughs>